390 million years ago, New York State was covered in a shallow sea, a sea teeming with life. And evidence of this sea and this life is all around us, in the sedimentary rocks underneath our feet, in the glen on the side of the road, holding fossils, evidence of past life that offer an exciting glimpse into the prehistoric past. And hunting for these fossils, fossil hunting, field paleontology, is a popular pastime with children, adults all across the world, and New York is no exception. But you have a problem. Without a background in paleontology or a paleontologist on hand, how do you know what you've got? How do you take this little cone of rock and say, this is a predatory squid? So I decided to follow the advice I was once given. See a need, fill a need. And my partners and I conducted extensive field paleontology at a local outcrop called the Gear Road Quarry. It's notable for its incredible fossiliferous rock, as you can see on my slide, <laughs> right on the bottom there. <clears throat> Not all rock is like this, filled with shells of all sorts. And the Gear Road Quarry is also incredible because the rock is friable. It falls apart in your hands, so it's great for small children or people with weaker hands, like senior citizens even could go there. Um, so we went and we uh, each chose a different phylum. I focused on the phylum mollusca, the mollusks. You may know them. They include the bivalves in your top left, including your clams and scallops. In the center, the cephalopods, squids and octopus. And on the right, the gastropods. That might be a new form to you, which is why this collection is important, which are your snails and your slugs. My final result a comprehensive reference collection of 33 specimens and a guidebook to go with it. And it has three purposes, as I like to call them, instruction, identification, and education. It's an instructive tool in how to conduct effective and responsible field paleontology from your home to the quarry, back home to putting together your collection. It's an identification tool because the morphology present in my specimens allows identification to the genus level, even from fragmentary specimens. And it's an educational tool for children and adults, people of all skill levels. It might just inspire you to pursue paleontology. Thank you. <laughs>